this. You remember Dame Jacinda Ardern. She was given a damehood for her stint as the globe's headmistress of COVID tyranny. Her zealous zero COVID scheme kept New Zealand shackled in a merciless lockdown for over two long years, with the jab practically hammered into the veins of teachers, police and healthcare warriors. Her autocratic whims included slamming the door on overseas Kiwis yearning to get back home and enforcing some of the strictest lockdowns the world knew. Her resignation came with a tired sigh of being burnt out. Burnt out? Well, it sounds more like a timely exit before an inevitable booting out. Sweet Jacinda Ardern serenaded China. She was jeopardizing the vital Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance. And meanwhile, she misplaced her vocal cords when it came to Uyghurs languishing in Chinese concentration camps. Perhaps too busy buffing a halo to concern herself with minor issues like like alleged genocide of Muslims. Now, the circus didn't end with Jacinda Ardern's departure. Once her jester-like grin left the stage, her comrades mooted the world's first tax on the burps and toots of livestock. That was set for 2026. Now, of course, that's a tough nugget for New Zealand farmers, much like the Dutch farmers that we've seen in an act of open rebellion. Given their stellar greenhouse gas emission efficiency, though she soared with a landslide in 2020, the winds changed as Kiwi grew weary of the hot air from Labour politicos. They have now warmly welcomed a new Conservative to the helm, bidding a hearty farewell to St Jacinda. Tucked away in the history next to the draconian lockdowns which the High Court in New Zealand later branded as unjustifiable <coughs> in a thriving democracy. So had we bid adieu to one of the Jacinda and the era of Jacinda's politics, I can only hope, folks, and I mean this with my hand on my heart, that the Kiwis have learnt the costly lesson of trade and liberty for a mirage of left-wing safetyism. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.